Okay, we're going to discuss uh, the bass drum part for a cadence called Fleming. And I'm going to play it first, and then I'll talk to you about it. Okay? Okay, so that's the whole cadence. Um, we have an intro, which is the same as the outro. Um, the tenors have a, a melody that they play. This is what it sounds like with the bass drum part. Okay. And if you want to count that, it's one, two, three, a four, and one. One, two, three, a four, and one. And like I said, that's the um, the intro and the outro. Okay. Um, now, when you do repeat this cadence, you play um, you play that actually at the beginning of each time you do the cadence as well, uh, just one time. Okay, and then there's two grooves. The first one uh, for bass drum is this. So you have two measures of this. One, a three, four, one, and three, four, one. So that's the uh, first two measures. Third measure is... One and two, three and four. Fourth measure is this. One, two, three and four. Not that big of a deal. So when you put that whole line together, you have. So uh, you do repeat that line. Um, okay, and then the uh, second groove, which is the last part, goes like this. Two, three, four. Two, four. Okay, and then you repeat that. So it's two, three, four. That's the first measure. Second measure is one, two, three, four. Third measure is one, two, three, four. And then the fourth measure is one, two, three, four. So when you put that all together and you play it twice, you have one, two, three, four, 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 Okay, so that is um, the second part of Fleming, and then, uh, like I said, you know, if you're going to repeat this, you play the intro again. But if you're going to end it, you play the intro as an outro, and you just stop it. So um, that's all to Fleming. Uh, there really isn't that much to do with that.